Hello everyone and welcome to another Fleet Signal video, the first of 2015. Happy New Year! My name is Alex and today I'm going to talk about and show you how to prime a miniature, in this case a Firestorm miniature, with Gesso. Now not so long ago some people were talking about priming Planet 4 minis on the North American Planet 4 Facebook group, which you'll find the link to as well as some other Facebook groups in the description for this video. And I thought I'd make a video to show you how easy it is to do how easy it is to prime miniatures with gesso. Um, you might want to prime with gesso because it's too cold or too hot uh, where you are, so you know you might not be able to pr um, spray prime outside. And spraying indoors is a bit hazardous to your health. Also, you might not have an airbrush for priming using that. So using gesso is just another option for priming your miniatures. So as you can see here, I have some bits and pieces that I'm going to use in this video. I have a cup of water, which is always good to have. I have a brush. This is a De La Rowney, um number six round brush, a synthetic brush, nothing special. Um, I have a spoon because I'm going to use the spoon to stir my gesso. And this is the gesso that I have. It's also De La Rowney because De La Rowney is a really you know, easy brand to get in the UK, so I have this stuff. Um, again, it's nothing special, it's not really great gesso or anything, it's graduate, you know, white gesso primer that I got in my local art shop, and didn't cost much, I think it cost about seven pounds for this tub, so it's not too expensive either. Um, so yeah, um, before I go on actually, I should just mention what gesso actually is. It's basically um, a medium, in this case an acrylic medium, this is acrylic gesso, um, it's an acrylic medium um, some sort of roughening agent, so usually chalk or gypsum, which is where the name gesso comes from, and also a pigment as well. So you can get black gesso, which obviously has black pigment. This is white gesso, so it has white pigment, and so on and so forth. And yeah, gesso is used mainly to prime canvases in the art world before you know before paint is applied to those canvases. But in this case, I'm going to use it to prime a miniature. So I'm going to get the lid off this, and then we're going to start to prime a miniature. Okay, so I've opened the tub of gesso, and I've stirred it a bit. You have to stir gesso before you, you know, start using it, just like you would shake a can of spray primer. Um, you have to stir your gesso. I've already stirred it, but I just wanted to use um, another spoon I'm using here to stir, stir with, just to show you how gloopy <laughs> gesso actually is. And you can see it's pretty gloopy and this might put some people off but don't worry because once you've um, you know actually primed your miniature and the paint is on the mini an amazing transformation will occur and you'll see that later on okay I put that to one side so you can see here I have a an Aquan Prime Stingray Destroyer that the Aquan Sebratan has graciously donated for me to be able to show you how to you know how to do this got it on a flight stand, there's a hawk widget on there as well. I'm going to do a video on hawk widgets actually at some point because they're really really handy for Firestorm. Um, and yeah, we're going to start priming this guy with gesso. And as you can see I've got some gesso on my hands as well because it's actually really hard to um, open a tub of gesso and not get it on your hands. So you know, be wary of that. So I've got my brush which I'm going to dip in there, actually grab a tissue I have here off camera just to wipe the brush a little bit and I'm going to start priming the miniature. So get some gesso on the brush and now we're simply going to apply the gesso to the mini. Now the trick to it is to try and do as thin a coat as possible. Um, don't go too thick with the gesso, because gesso itself is already quite thick to begin with. So try to do a nice thin coat of gesso, actually get it on camera. Try to do a nice thin coat of gesso all over the miniature. Get every part of the mini. I'm only going to do the top half of this miniature today, just to show you what the process is like. If 
I could actually get it on camera, then that would be a great start. As I said, don't be too afraid about the gesso seeming, you know, gloopy, because if you're used to minis painting and you're used to, you know, people always telling you thin your paints, thin your paints, then um, painting gesso onto a miniature might seem like a bit, you know, it might seem like a bit of a um, a bit of a weird thing, like, you know, oh my gosh, this paint is too thick. I'm going to lose all the detail. No, you won't. You're not going to lose any detail. Through priming with gesso. Because later on, when the miniature, well, not when the miniature dries, when the gesso dries on the miniature, the gesso is actually going to shrink. Much like spray primer does, it goes on to the mini and as it dries it kind of shrinks and conforms to the miniature. And you get this nice surface that you can now um, apply paint to. So I'm just going to give this a nice coat, not too thick, just enough to cover all of the surfaces, all around the mini. Just to show you what it's like to prime in gesso, make sure it's spread nicely all over the mini. And again, as I said, try to go as thinly as you can with the gesso. Okay, that should do it. So now you can see that this mini has been thoroughly primed using gesso. And I'm going to leave this to dry for about 30 minutes. And when we come back through the magic of video, obviously you won't have to wait for 30 minutes. Um, when we come back, the gesso will be dry and, um, and you'll see what happened to it when it dried. Okay, so this model has been drying for about 30 minutes, just over 30 minutes. And you can see that it's not completely dry. The gesso hasn't dried completely on the model, but some parts of it are dry. And I went ahead and primed the bottom of the model as well. And um, so as you can see, the gesso, even though it went on quite gloopy um, when I was applying it on, it's actually dried really, really thin. And it's produced this kind of um, chalky surface, like kind of a, like a primer-like surface, a rough, rough-ish surface on the, on the model that's ready to accept paint or wash or whatever you're going to you know you would use to um, paint the model with so yeah as i said um you know just as a good way to prime models when you can't use a spray primer for whatever reason for whatever reason or if you don't have an airbrush to prime you can use gesso to prime your models it doesn't do anything to the resin as you can see um it wouldn't do i mean as i said all it is is a, you know, a pigment, um, a medium, and a roughening substance like gypsum. So, you know, it's not going to do anything to your model. And uh, yeah, it's a good way to, you know, it's a good option to have if you need to prime, you know, some models. So that was a look at priming models using gesso. Um, as always, if you liked or disliked the video, then please leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on how you felt about it and be sure to subscribe to um, stay updated with new videos that will go up on this channel and also don't forget to check out Fleet Signal on social media and the fleetsignal.com website as well okay that's about it for this video until the next one see ya